This is a story about Dennis, based on the Railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey, and read aloud by me, Chris Richardson. This is a story about Dennis, a very lazy diesel engine. On his first day on the Sodor Railway, Dennis played a trick on Thomas, but when he really got into trouble, was anyone there to help? One morning, the fat controller came to Tidmouth Sheds with important news. A new diesel engine is coming to our railway, he boomed. His name is Dennis. And Thomas, added the fat controller, you have been working very hard. Today, you can have a day off. Thomas was very pleased. First, I will have a long wash down, chuffed Thomas cheerfully. On his way to the wash down, Thomas saw a diesel he had never seen before. The diesel was huffing and puffing. Peep, peep, said Thomas. You must be Dennis. What's the matter? These trucks are too troublesome. I can't shove them, huffed Dennis. It's my day off, whistled Thomas, but I'll help you. D Dennis watched Thomas biff and bump the trucks into line. Oh, Dad, puffed Thomas. It was hard work. When he had finished, he was very tired. Thank you, Thomas, said Dennis and he watched Thomas chuff away. Thomas arrived at the washdown. Soon he was covered in big bubbles. Thomas was feeling very jolly on his day off. He started puffing to himself. Shiny and bright, shiny and bright. That's what I'll be to start my day right, he chirped cheerfully. Dennis wasn't cheerful at all. He didn't want to deliver his trucks of tiles. Just then, Thomas puffed into view, looking shiny and clean. Dennis had an idea. He would ask Thomas to help him again. Help, help, Dennis called weakly. I don't know how to get to the schoolhouse. Don't worry, Dennis, said Thomas, slowing down. I'll show you the way. Dennis smiled. His trick had worked. Thomas showed Dennis the way to the junction and, and wished away. Dennis had wanted Thomas to take his trucks for him. Suddenly, Dennis had another idea. A very naughty idea. He blustered his horn again and again and again. Thomas heard the noise and raced back. Help, cried Dennis, I'm overheating. You will have to shut these trucks for me. Th Thomas knew it was his day off, but he still wanted to help. Don't worry, puffed Thomas, I'll find another engine to help you on my way to Bluff's g Cove. And Thomas hurried away. Dennis was cross. He uncoupled himself from the trucks. Now another engine will have to take them, he thought. Dennis sped away. He didn't care about the tiles, and he didn't care about Thomas. All he cared about was getting far away from his work. His wheels were spinning faster and faster, and then there was trouble. Help! screeched Dennis. Help! Please, help! Dennis crashed right off the tracks, but this time there was no one there to hear his cries. When Thomas arrived at a signal, Percy had some important news. The workmen are waiting for Dennis to bring the tiles to repair the school roof. The children can't go to school until it's mended, grumbled Percy. And no one knows where Dennis is. I do, wished Thomas. He's broken down. I must go back to help him. Thomas found Dennis wheeled deep in a muddy ditch. I thought you'd broken down at the junction, huffed Thomas, and where are the trucks? Dennis looked very shamefaced. He felt 
bad for what he had done. I tricked you, said Dennis quietly. There was nothing wrong with me at the junction. I didn't want to pull those heavy trucks. I'm a really lazy engine, sniffed Dennis. Dennis's wheels wobbled, his diesel oil dripped, and he had a very long face. Thomas decided to help one more time. I'll pull you back onto the tracks, puffed Thomas. Then I'll be your back engine. That way we'll get the tiles to the schoolhouse really quickly. Dennis smiled, his biggest smile ever. Thank you, Thomas, he said. A little later, Dennis and Thomas pulled into the schoolhouse station. The fat controller was very cross with Dennis. I'm sorry, said Dennis. He felt terrible. Thomas has shown me that being a really useful engine is much better than being a really lazy one, wished Dennis. The fat controller was pleased when Dennis said sorry, and Thomas wasn't cross anymore.